China had made great mathematical leaps. But the next great mathematical breakthroughs were to happen in a country lying to the southwest of China. A country that had a rich mathematical tradition that would change the face of maths forever. India's first great mathematical gift lay in the world of number. Like the Chinese, the Indians had discovered the mathematical benefits of the decimal place value system and were using it by the middle of the 3rd century AD. It's been suggested that the Indians learned the system from Chinese merchants travelling through India with their counting gods. Well, they may well just have stumbled across it themselves. It's all such a long time ago that it's shrouded in mystery. We may never know how the Indians came up with their number system, but we do know that they refined and perfected it, creating the ancestors for the nine numerals we use across the world today. Many rank the Indian system of counting as one of the greatest intellectual innovations of all time, developing into the closest thing we could call a universal language. But there was one number missing, and it was the Indians who would introduce it to the world. The earliest known recording of this new number dates from the 9th century that was probably in practical use for centuries before. This strange new numeral is engraved on the wall of a small temple in the fort of Gwalior in central India. So here we are in one of the true holy sites of the mathematical world and what I'm looking for is in this inscription written on the wall. Up here are some numbers and here's the new number. It's zero. It's astonishing to think that before the Indians invented it, there was no number zero. To the ancient Greeks, it simply hadn't existed. To the Egyptians, Mesopotamians, and as we've seen, the Chinese, zero had been in use, but as a placeholder, an empty space to show a zero inside a number. The Indians transformed zero from a mere placeholder into a number that made sense in its own right. A number for calculation, for investigation. This brilliant conceptual leap would revolutionise mathematics. Now, with just ten digits, zero to nine, it was suddenly possible to capture astronomically large numbers in an incredibly efficient way. But why did the Indians make this imaginative leap? Well, we'll never know for sure, but it's possible that the idea and symbol that the Indians used for zero came from calculations they did with stones in the sand. When stones were removed from the calculation, a small round hole was left in its place, representing the movement from something to nothing. But perhaps there's also a cultural reason for the invention of zero. For the ancient Indians, the concepts of nothingness and eternity lay at the very heart of their belief system. In the religions of India, the universe was born out of nothingness, and nothingness is the ultimate goal of humanity. So it's perhaps not surprising that a culture that so enthusiastically embraced the void should be happy with a notion of zero. 
The Indians even used the word for the philosophical idea of the void, shunya, to represent the new mathematical term zero.